Hey everybody, how are you? Tweets here. Yay, you can see me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought I'd just stop by here. I want to just say, um, yeah, thank you for all you guys. You know, you love support and you know, I appreciate all of you. And I'm here again just to, you know, pray for you and, you know, stop by, let me know how you're doing. And I know this has to be hard times for a lot of you, so, um, for everybody. So, um, you know, just letting you know that I'm, you know, I'm thinking of everybody. And, you know, if you need to, you know, need to talk, let me know, you know, let me know how you're doing. And, you know, let me know what's going on in your part. That's what I kind of want to know. How's it doing over where, where you're living at? I mean, are the food... Is your food supply doing good? And if so, most of you know I'm in Chicago. And uh, we're on, uh, uh, we're st stay in order or whatever. We, we, we're not allowed to go out except if you're going for shopping for food or, you know, if you're doing um, gas for your car, or you know, doctor's medicine or whatever. But otherwise, they want everybody in. Everything's closed. So, um even dentist, you know, it's scary. They're going to, someone gets a toothache, God forbid. Um, but, uh, you know, all nonsense. I'm sure you guys are all the same. At least I think you are. Let me know if you are. Oh, everything's closed here. Um, take out food you can get. Um, you know, like restaurants, bars, beauty shops. Yeah, I'm surprised about the dentist. So there might be a few around that may be emergencies, but that's kind of scary. Um even my doctor's office, unless I was sick, wouldn't take me, you know, and I had to get refills. Thank God she ordered my refills by the phone and I've never met her. She's a new dentist. Um, it was very kind to her to I me mean, a new doctor. Um, my old doctor of like 10 years had retired and I was supposed to meet this new doctor, but you know, nobody can come in there. She doesn't want to see any healthy patients. If you're sick, you can come in, but I just need a refill. So I did get them, but um, I don't you know, everything's just changed and it's kind of scary. I don't, I don't, it's food, you know, the food thing is what's scaring me, you know, um, toilet paper. I mean, I, I don't understand how you can, you know, I could see the food thing, but why the toilet paper is at a top priority for everybody. You know, I can't get any hand sanitizer and that, that I really do need. Um, I can't get that anywhere. So that's one thing that I, I, I could use is some hand sanitizer. Um, but uh, just, you know, food supplies are just getting harder and harder to come by, you know, unless you, you know, have the time and effort to keep going from store to store to store. And, or you got to be there when you know their supplies are coming in. And I noticed with Dollar Tree, um, when my friend went, Anna, she uh, told me that, that a lot of the supplies, when the hand sanitizer did come in, and, you know, the basics of toilet paper, towels and all that, and alcohol and all that, uh, they claimed they had eight cases in 15 minutes it was gone. And she said, that's impossible. And she goes, it's 9.15, I'm here, the store is empty. Can't be gone. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of workers are hoarding it for their, hoarding, hoarding it for their own families there. You know, that's not right. I mean, I can understand taking some, but, you know, eight cases was a lot. So to, for that to be gone in 15 minutes with nobody in the store at 9.15 and opens at 9 is ridiculous. So, you know, something's going on there, you know, probably on eBay where everything else is, it's really pricey. Although you can still find some, some things, um, you know, a few things like the N95 masks pop up here and there that are reasonable that they're not price gouging. So, um, she did order one because my daughter needs it. There's, they're operating with nothing at work at the hospital she's in, and they don't have the mask yet. And she, like I told you before, she's like in direct contact, not direct, but the, the people that are going on the floors were exposed before they even knew they these patients had it. So she, you know, she's it, it, with the therapist. She does the paperwork for there. So indirect contact, they were everybody was exposed. So. I, you know, I ended up looking at eBay and ordering one mask. I might have to go back and order another one because I want to get the heck out of this house. I don't care if it's a ride somewhere, but I do want to wear a, a mask. So, um, you know, 
I'm going to go back and order it. I, I wish people would quit price gouging the way they are, but uh, she needs one. So, you know, she can't afford to get sick with the kids and all that taking care of everything. So, I, you know, those hospital supplies are short. So you just, you know, pray to God you don't get it. And if you do, you pray to God that it's not nothing serious, you know. So, you know, some people have no symptoms or some have little symptoms or whatever, but I don't know. I just wanted to see what's going on in your neck of the woods and how you're surviving and how you're making it. Who buys? A, I pretty much wiped out Dollar Tree last week on, you know, like canned food. I pretty much took, got a lot of stuff like tuna and fruit and vegetables and things like that and cans of ravioli and things like that. The big burritos. Thank God those were left and some pizzas and things. So, you know, I, I'm okay on the food thing right now. Milk, bread was hard to find. So my daughter was finally able to find a loaf of bread. Milk is iffy too. I mean, you can't always get that. Um, there's just a lot of things. I wanted yogurt. She said she was at five different stores. Nobody had yogurt. And I'm like, oh, I love my cup of yogurt every in the evening. So I have my yogurt. Um Bananas were out. I have no bananas. I'm used to having at least, you know, maybe two bananas a week is fine for my cereal or something. But okay, I have to read. We all have to readjust our lives. So let's pray this ends soon or levels down and ends. And when it does slow down, that it doesn't come back again with a vengeance. Let's just pray that whatever oh, gets over with quickly and it's just done. So we, you know, pray for everybody that is dealing with the virus and you know, and going through whatever they're going through. And for all our healthcare workers, let's pray for them. And our first responders, that, you know, that we can't afford for them to get sick either. And for the doctors and nurses, so and all the hospitals and everybody's taking care of everybody. So, and risking, you know, like my daughter is and the therapists there are, and they're, they're risking getting it, being, being there every day. So, you know, we got to pray for all of them. Okay, everybody, I'm okay. I hope everybody's okay. Let me know what's going on in your part and, you know, how your supplies are. And, you know, if you, you know, need me to pray with you, let me know. Again, special prayer request, anything, let me know. Okay, everybody, love you guys.